Here's an actual piece of masonite. I don't want to drill a hole into the table. This is only a quarter inch thick, so it's not very thick, so you can't go through all the way, otherwise you'll just drive the screw through the surface of it. But uh, we go along the edge with this, and we go just like that. And we usually go about uh, six to eight inches apart, uh, depending on the size of the masonite. Masonite, actually, we go uh, on a four-foot side, we'll do uh, one in each corner, and then uh, two or three, uh, one in the middle, and then one more on each side. So that's actually uh, a little bit bigger than six to eight inches apart. But um, six to eight inches apart is standard for screwing a lid of a plywood uh, onto a platform. That's pretty standard for that. So we're just going to do six, in, six to eight inches here, just for the sake of a, you know, example. And then when you're driving the screws, usually you're going to use the one inch or the one and a quarter inch screws to attach your masonite to your platform. Through the, the wood so you can kind of see that nice and flush and you want that to be flush because you don't want shoes tripping on your uh, decking of your stage if you're doing some stage combat or some sort of acrobatics or something that's a little more physical you don't want your actors rolling around on the stage and getting torn up by drywall screw heads so you need to get that screw below the surface of the masonite. Now that we've painted our masonite and prepped it for installation in the playhouse, we need to countersink it. We can countersink it before painting. In this case, I'm gonna countersink it after it's been painted. Our general countersinking guideline is one for each corner. And on the long boards, we put one in the middle and usually two in between middle and the end is enough. So that's at every four feet. There's one, two, three, four, and then one, two, three, four. And then the same thing around the sides here. One, two, three, four is enough and all the way around. Assuming this uh, unfinished piece is our masonite, we're gonna talk about placement of our holes. You can get them close to the edge, but you don't need to crowd the edge. You don't need to be exactly this far into the corner. You can be that close to the corner, but you can also be, you know, three quarters of an inch in. So something like that distance from the edge is okay. Don't, crowd, don't bother trying to crowd the corner. So again, three quarters of an inch in right there. That one isn't deep enough. It's not gonna have the head of the screw go underneath the surface. If you can't eyeball the size of the countersink, you can always have a drywall screw here and you can just put it in there and just make sure that the head will go below the surface. Just like that. These two are, are good in terms of their distance from the edge. This one's a little bit too close to the edge. And we're looking at that, it's about three quarter and this is about half an inch or three eighths. And of course, something like that is too far from the edge. There's no real specific rule as where it has to be, but again, just don't crowd your edge and don't be too far on the inside. If you want precise measurements, we can do this, we can go to four feet. We can figure out what the two thirds marks are going to be because it is going to be one third, one third, one third. 48 divided by three is 18, that would be every 16 inches. I should know that because that's 
standard stud framing. So there you go. If you want a precise measurement, you're going to be one in the corner and every 16 inches. And if you haven't been paying attention to your tape measure, your tape measure usually has special markings at 16 inches because that's your standard stud marking. Every 16 inches is your standard stud wall for house construction, for, for wall construction. So 16 is red, 32 is red, 48 is red, 64 is red. All those numbers are going to be pretty consistent. So we're going to put one in the corner again, not too close to the corner. So this one isn't exactly at four feet, but it's in the corner. One at 32 inches. One at 16 inches. And one in the corner. Going the long eight foot distance. We'll just do the same thing every 16 inches. I'm just going to eyeball it now. I was thinking this morning about why some people have the ability to visually divide things into sections, into halves, into thirds, into fourths, into fifths, into sixths. Uh, and I think mostly it's because people don't practice it. And that's why you can measure this out and be precise. And if you want all of your stage floor to be really nice and clean looking, that's probably the, the way to go. But it's also useful to practice those skills of dividing things into thirds. Dividing things in half is easy. You've got two pieces and you cut it down the middle and then you cut that down the middle. But if you have to divide any of those sections into thirds, that's a little bit harder. And I think if just people practiced dividing things into thirds or dividing things into fifths, it would be, uh, it, it accentuates and heightens and builds your, your visual ability to see proportions and, and, and to assign proportions. Uh, these we measured precisely. I could go and find out how accurate my eyeballing was here. Eighty inches is here, so I'm a, I'm a I'm a an inch and a half off. Sixty four is here. I'm almost two inches off. Four feet. I'm an inch off. Thirty two. I'm a half an inch off. And sixteen. I'm about half to three quarters of an inch off. But I, again, unless this is something that's got the uh, visual quality for looking good, this is an uh, inch and a quarter off. I overshot this one by three inches. I think eyeballing it like this for the stage floor is fine. We're just going to walk on it. It's going to get into several coats of paint over this lifetime. It just needs to hold down and be secure. So we just do the perimeter when we're doing masonite for the stage floor. And we don't put any screws in the middle. And we don't do any extra than this um, until we put it down. And then we only add ad additional screw points where needed. 
and usually you don't need any more. If your stage floor is nice and even and level and clean, then this will hold it in place. It won't buckle up or anything. But occasionally uh, some moisture will get under uh, something and it'll buckle in spots and you might have to put one or two in the middle. But we don't start with putting them in the middle, just in the perimeter. And if we need to put extras here, if I you know, plow through here with my countersink on one spot, I just put drill another hole next to it, it's fine. Or you can toss the whole piece and get a brand new piece. That works as well. I want to be careful when I set this on the ground that I don't ding up the corners. If I ding up the corners, then I don't have a nice, consistent, clean, and even floor. And that's it. These two pieces are ready to go on the stage floor.